I just received a package from uh, Hoka One One. I've got a new pair of shoes coming in and I want to share the unboxing uh, scenario with you guys. So uh, let's get into it, literally. So first, just a little bit of backstory I, uh, about this package. I was actually expecting it yesterday. I ordered it like three days ago from the Hoka One One Europe website. It's located in the Netherlands, this particular warehouse or whatever. And it took two days, very quick, here to, to where I am in France, in Nice, southern France. And yesterday it was supposed to arrive and it said like, oh, it'll arrive between 9.45 and 10.20 a.m. And I was standing over at the window looking out for the, for the mailman waiting, like super excited. And then I see this guy walking into our building with a big package, this one, uh, probably. And uh, I was like, oh, he's coming. And I was like, just pacing back and forth in the apartment, waiting for him to knock on the door. But he never did. And I was like, oh, maybe it was just someone else's package or whatever. And then looked out, I didn't see him again. Uh, he didn't call me, even though I wrote down on the, on the, like the order, please call me when you arrive. And it turns out he says, oh, I couldn't deliver, couldn't find the address. Oh. So anyway, so I had to go over to the post office today to pick it up, which is just like 200 meters that direction. So it's all good. Just had to wait another day. Uh, so let's get into it. Oh, I love opening packages. There it is. <sighs> In here, I've got the Hoka One One Clifton 5 wide. So let's open it up and see how it looks. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. That is a fast shoe, or it's not super fast probably, but it's faster than the Hoka Bondi, which is what I'm running in right now. Oh. Mm. It's like a new, like a new, you know, the new car smell. There's also the new shoe smell and I love it. Probably super toxic, the other one. I love how shoes are packaged like this. You just have to sort of open it up really neatly. Pretty damn light. It's like I've, I've had lighter shoes, obviously, but pretty light still. So, the Hoka One One Clifton Five, wide. So when I say wide, the, most of their shoes are just normal sizes, but you some of their shoes also come in a wide model. And uh, I have really wide feet, and honestly, after being used to running in ultra shoes where you have a wide toe box, which is much better for anatomical reasons. Most feet are wider than most shoes are. Um, I'm very happy that Hoka offers this, although I would like it to be available on more than just like a few models. But uh, anyway, there it is. So the reason why I bought the Clifton 5 is because I have the Bondi 6 at the moment that I'm running a fair bit in. I'll put a link to my review of it up here. You can check that out. And I must say I love that shoe, honestly. Like I, I've been running in ultra shoes for a few years and I love those. But when I tried the Bondi, I was like, wow, that felt amazing with that cushion. And it's just, it just felt amazing. And, but it, they are pretty big. It's very heavily cushioned, the Bondi. It's the most cushioned shoe I think they have, Hoka. Possibly one of the most cushioned shoes in the world, really. Uh, and I was like, I would like a little bit of a lighter shoe, a little bit of a less uh, cushioned shoe, and that's the Clifton essentially, because I want to go a little bit faster. You know, I'm running a half marathon coming up. I have a marathon this year, and I'm thinking the Clifton might be a good candidate for for that. I'm not sure 
if it's the fastest shoe, probably not. It's heavier than some of their other shoes, but it's the only one, the lightest one they have that's available in, in the wide size. And it, there's also a little bit of drop to it, heel to toe, I think five millimeters, which currently I'm sort of liking the idea of because I have very limited ankle mobility and of course I should work on that ankle mobility. But maybe I'm not able to actually ever get to a perfect ankle mobility state because it has to do with the joint anatomy, etc. And maybe then a little bit of heel to toe drop might be beneficial for me, I don't know. So anyway, I'm experimenting. They feel light, as I said. They look absolutely incredibly awesome. That's the thing with Hoka uh, that you know, really probably got me so into them in the first place. They're just designed so well. Like the look of the shoes, it's just like way cooler than Ultra. And the cushion feels amazing too. So I look forward to trying these. I'll make a review of them at one point. This was just an unboxing kind of thing. My size is 46 and two thirds. So one of the bigger ones. And uh, I'll be sure to weigh it properly, etc., for the review. Pretty stiff, pretty stiff, but also fair, flexible enough for your foot to move around and not to be like restricted. Ah, happy, very happy. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the unboxing. Thanks for joining me in this uh, special moment of my life receiving my second ever pair of Hoka shoes and uh, the Clifton 5 just overall looking pretty awesome. All right, be sure to check out that uh, Bondi 6 review that I mentioned and some of my other shoe reviews as well from Ultra. And just to mention it, of course, I'm not sponsored obviously by Hoka. I bought this with my own money. It's not like a product uh, placement kind of thing. Uh, maybe one day in the future I'll be sponsored. That would be cool. I'm not sure if it would be Hoka though. Uh, ideally, if, if someone from Hoka watches this, I would say that it would be nice if you guys made a wider toe box, like up here at the toes, so that your feet can splay a little bit more. My, my big toe in the Bondi just sort of hits the, the fabric a little bit. Yeah, that's all really. If Hoka and Ultra merged, I think we would have some cool, cool products. Thanks for watching. Bye.